Couchbase is the Enterprise Ready Document Database. So what's a document? Well, in a nutshell, you can store any binary value as a document. But with Couchbase, we focus on JavaScript object notation as the primary document format. Let's learn why. JSON has emerged as a lightweight data interchange format. It's based on JavaScript, but it's nothing but a language-independent markup format for describing data structures. There are two key formats used. Collections, often also called objects or dictionaries, which are sets of key-value pairs. These are wrapped in braces. And then ordered lists of values, often also called arrays, which are wrapped in brackets. Objects and arrays can be nested however you need. Individual elements are comma-separated, and you distinguish text, including keys, with single or double quotes. Let's take a look at a few examples. So here's an ordered list of strings separated by commas. Now most programming languages would treat the first element as being at position zero, but an important learning point here is that it's up to the language you choose to use with your data that would determine this. Now here's a collection, or dictionary, or object, whatever term you prefer, of primitive values. Now notice the keys are all quoted as text, values are separated from their keys by a colon, and the numeric and Boolean values are left without quotes. You can nest arrays and objects, so you might have an ordered list of comma-delimited objects, as shown here. And you could embed an ordered list as the value of one property of an object, as shown here with the pets list. All in all, JSON is a very powerful and flexible way to describe multidimensional data structures, the kind that tend to actually get used in code, rather than flat lists of scalar data coming out of a table somewhere. Now, at base, Couchbase stores key-value pairs. Now, those pairs could have a somewhat complex key, like a date timestamp, associated with a simple string value, like a temperature reading. Or the pair could use some arbitrary but unique value as a key, and be associated with a text document in some useful format, like JSON. As a result of this, the key to a stored document is commonly called its document ID, but the term key and document ID are interchangeable. The key can be any string value up to 25 bytes or about 250 characters. The value of a document is anything up to 20 megabytes, which could be anywhere from 5,000 to 20,000 characters, depending on the byte length of the character set in use. So to help start putting all this in context of Couchbase, let's introduce some key terms that we'll be drilling into throughout this course. A node is one instance of Couchbase server, which may run on anything from on-site commodity hardware to a managed container in the cloud. A cluster is one or more nodes networked together, sharing data across evenly distributed buckets. A bucket is a logical key space of uniquely keyed documents, which again is evenly spread across your cluster, likely also holding document replicas to ensure durability, but we'll get back to that. And so a document is one uniquely keyed value within one bucket. Now, all competitive posturing aside, the core design approach of relational data management systems is brilliant. Normalization across tables can minimize your total data footprint while still supporting maximum, flexible, ad hoc use of the data, generally via structured query language. Further, due to the enforced data schema, long-term structural predictability is assured, which can be critical for systems of record that may carry heavy procedural or even legal implications. Now, all that being said, Planned denormalization has become widespread in response to the exponentially expanding data floods that are now pouring into business systems. Denormalized data is fast to read and much more easily mapped to code, potentially directly matching a target object model. In-memory joins are avoided, supporting highly elastic, massively scalable architectures. Further, the schematic flexibility in this approach allows your data models to evolve as quickly as a rapidly developing, market-facing code base demands. As a result, coding itself 
which can be the most expensive and risk-prone aspect of any project, is simplified. Now, JSON itself is everywhere. There are parsing libraries for virtually every language. There are tons of excellent resources online, and it's even been standardized with an RFC. But do you have to use JSON with Couchbase? No. You can store any binary value, up to 20 megabytes, as a single Couchbase document. So you can serialize objects or even store XML if you're into that sort of thing. So what have we learned? Well, JSON is a very widely used data interchange format, so widely used it's been standardized. It's based on collections and ordered lists. But because these can be nested as needed, it is easy to represent complex data structures. Couchbase stores documents in buckets on nodes in clusters. Couchbase focuses on JSON because it is widely available and easily understood, it's easily evolved as your code and data structures evolve, and it supports multiple dimensions and maps easily to objects. Next up, we're going to dive into the services that are exposed by every Couchbase node. Stick around.